Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we're going to talk about iOS 8.4, the new firmware that Apple's going to release tomorrow, as well as the latest iteration of Taiji being version 2.1.3. All right, so to start off, before we get straight into this video, if you have yet to jailbreak iOS 8.3 untethered, be sure to do so now. I will have a link on the screen now to my untethered jailbreak tutorial, as well as another link to my top 50 Cydia tweaks video once jailbroken. Now with that said, let's go ahead and get started here. First of all, talking about Taiji version 2.1.3. It's the latest release. It was issued by the group yesterday, and let's go over the change log for it. So essentially, this latest version fixes the issue of users getting stuck at 20% during the jailbreak process. So if you have yet to jailbreak, just be sure to follow my tutorial that I mentioned previously, and it will actually be with version 2.1.3. It also includes the latest Cydia 1.1.8 package bundled with it, and the newest version of UIKit tools. It also fixes the long startup time for the iPhone 4S post jailbreak, and it corrects the issue with the Taiji jailbreak tool, not functioning inside of a virtual machine. So for those of you who run on Mac OS 10, the last version of Taiji being version 2.1.2 actually broke virtual machine compatibility. Now, thankfully, those of you who are on a Mac can jailbreak with the latest version of Taiji 2.1.3. And jumping over here to Cydia, for those of you who are already jailbroken, you can actually install the latest untether package update, which again does address issues with the iPhone phone 4s taking too long to boot up and it just kind of improves the overall stability of things so launch Cydia let it reload and then you should have a change available you don't have to add any custom sources just let it do its thing and then install the available update and now switching back over to Safari let's talk about iOS 8.4 it's going to be released by Apple tomorrow on the 30th to accommodate the launch of Apple music as you can see it says it's available on the 30th which as of recording this video will be tomorrow and scrolling down here when you go to what it actually requires it will state for iOS to update to iOS 8.4 moreover the former Beats Music CEO and current Apple Music director Ian Rogers actually wrote a blog post yesterday discussing iOS 8.4 briefly as well as Apple Music and its launch he said quote Tuesday morning we'll be unveiling the next chapter please make a note to upgrade to iOS 8.4 at 8 a.m. Pacific Time Tuesday, June 30th, and listen to the first Beats One podcast at 9 a.m. Pacific Time. Now, since then, he actually revised his initial blog post to remove the specific mention of iOS 8.4's release date at 8 a.m. Pacific Time tomorrow on the 30th. But in a tweet that's still live, he encouraged a user to upgrade to 8.4 at 8 a.m. to make sure that he doesn't miss out on the first Beats 1 stream. So, in other words, 8.4 will definitely drop tomorrow. In light of Apple Music, expect it at 8 a.m. And now let's talk about jailbreaking and how it could very well affect the latest untethered jailbreak utility being Taiji for iOS 8.1.3 through 8.3. So, everyone was under the impression that jailbreakers would actually wait for iOS 8.4 as it will be the last major release from Apple prior to iOS 9. That didn't happen and Taiji might have actually made the smart play where this is concerned because for Apple to have patched the vulnerabilities exploited in Taiji, they would have required additional time. Looking back, when Apple released iOS 8.1.0 to the public earlier last fall, they didn't extensively test the firmware and it broke cellular capabilities for a number of devices. So in other words, they need to do extensive testing when they change really anything in iOS. It doesn't matter if they're closing a vulnerability or adding additional features. They need to go through substantive testing. And because Taiji for iOS 8.3 was released on Wednesday, there simply hasn't been enough time since June 23rd for Apple to have fully tested any sort of official patch for the jailbreak. Now, having said that, it's definitely possible that there may be one or two vulnerability fixes but we can say with certainty that not all vulnerabilities will be closed in iOS 8.4. In fact, there's a strong possibility that Taiji will still be able to jailbreak 8.4 and that none of the vulnerabilities will be closed in the public release. Because looking back, I can think of two recent situations or 
scenarios where Apple didn't close the jailbreak immediately with the next release of iOS. So the most recent of which being iOS 8.1.2. It was released on December 9th to address a ringtone complication for devices. And then just one day later on December 10th, Taiji was able to update their utility to include support for iOS 8.1.2 because it didn't close the vulnerabilities exploited by the tool. And the same thing happened with Pangu's first jailbreak for iOS 7.1.1 last June. It wasn't closed with the release of 7.1.2 and it went fully functional until iOS 8 was released. So let's hope the same thing happens this time around guys. Give this video a big thumbs up if you hope that Apple doesn't close the vulnerabilities in iOS 8.4 and that we can jailbreak the firmware. Again, I will have some links on the screen via annotation and card format throughout this video for those of you who happen to miss some of the more recent jailbreak coverage. And if you guys want to be updated more often when I release new videos covering various things like jailbreaking, tomorrow's 8.4 firmware and new versions of Taiji, be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and click that subscribe button down below next to my channel name if you have yet to. And for those of you interested in winning a brand new iPad Air 2, simply navigate to freeappsfast.com inside of Mobile Safari, sign up, come back here, rate this video up, and leave a relevant comment in the comments section. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.